part two. So y'all, basically they are laughing in Shantae's face at the restaurant while True is on the phone and True is basically lying to his mama and Shantae. Like it's trying to, it's giving very much, he's lying Shantae. It's giving very much red flag. It's giving very much run, get away, now, go. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to tell y'all. The mama actually asked how she feel about True getting out in a few weeks. So she's very excited that he's going to get out in a few weeks. He's going to be paroling at her house. And they're going to start their business together. You know, he's in culinary, in the prison. You know, he can cook and stuff. So she's really excited. Girl, you don't even know what you got in store. We finna see how long True going to be there, for one. And how long True finna just be scamming you, for two. And for three, your brother gonna be popping up again and you're gonna be getting played again. So we just gonna just get let's just say it now. Let's just say it all together. They're gonna play you. And I just hope that you wake up and realize truth is I'm sorry, not truth. You don't tell truths. True ain't telling the truth to you. At this point, it's on my personal opinion. I feel like Shantae and True and Ayana and Jamal, they feel like, I feel like they're in the same boat. Oh, I forgot. And Candace and Andrew, they're in the same boat as well. I feel like Andrew and Candace right here, they're doing the same thing. Basically, she's buying him while he's in prison. She's doing everything he says, and he does everything Candace says. So I feel like it's like a double whammy in one, just a different race. But, but. I wonder how long this relationship going to last for true because they said he only dated white women. But I just don't believe that he only dated white women because I'm like, your mama is black and your sister is black. Everybody you be around is black and you're black. So, I, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, everybody has a preference and some people, you know, don't discriminate. But his only preference is a white woman. So, I don't know how that's going to work out when he gets out because I feel like he got somebody on the side and I feel like he gonna have the disadvantage of, i'm sorry not disadvantage she's gonna have the advantage to have her looking crazy for one and then he going to her house doing whatever if he can get out and not be on, like on um, house arrest or something he might get caught up which i feel like that's gonna be some good drama but it's gonna be messed up for her because she didn't did all this trials and tribulations for true she didn't spend all this money she didn't move her kids she didn't move herself she didn't done all this stuff and what is she getting out of it? Heartbreak. His own family don't even like you. Let's just say it. We we're not gonna lie. Let's just let's just keep it one hundred. We're gonna just say it. Her his family do not like you. Sorry. Just like your family don't like him because they already know he ain't worth it. He is not worth it. You can leave him where he's at with your bum brother. Because, obviously, they're not going to pay you back. You're going to be in more debt than what you can handle. So, I wish you would just wake up and just pay attention to these red flags. And then, just to top it off, his sister and his mama just sitting there telling you all the tea about their brother and their son. Like, if you don't catch nothing from that, oh, I forgot, wait. The rosy glasses came back on because she got to meet the mommy and the sister. So she felt like she had to put on the rosy glasses again because that fairy tale mind. I forgot. I forgot. That's why. That's why Th they came back. They came back. So they're back rosy again. And the fact that he's going to get out in a few weeks. Oh, most definitely those glasses are going to be rosy. They're going to be rosy. He's going to get whatever he wants because we already know. She's going to be dropping them golden tickets. I'm just gonna say it but um yeah and I just hope you know the kids don't be involved and I hope he doesn't bother the kids and I hope she sets some boundaries with the kids because you know they already don't like them and she, I believe they don't even care for him and I hope she pays and short kids since he's going to be out and she should not be selfish and forget about her kids because the world doesn't revolve around True. And I hope when True gets out, he can better himself, go to school and get him a real culinary arts degree, you know, in one of the, like, community college, like a two-year college or something. He can do that, but I don't, I don't know. You know how people are. They think quick, rich schemes, you know? And Shantae is the right 
one. But I want to know if she bought herself a ring. I didn't even look at her hands to see if she's wearing a like an engagement ring because they are engaged. And you know how like some of the other couples they'll go buy them by themselves, even though that might be his money. But they'll go buy the ring. I mean, I'm not finna do that. That's the man's job. I mean, I'll go pick it out and you can go back and go get it. But I'm not finna. No. That's 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 like spoiling the surprise. It's just like taking away your joy and happiness by he's locked up. He can't even do it physically. I mean, if nah, you you can do it on the phone. But that's not even romantic. Just saying. So, yeah, just let me know what y'all think. Drop some comments down below. This was just my honest opinion and how I felt about the episode because it just doesn't make sense to me on why she feels like she has to stay with this man and had to give up her whole life just to move her kids, herself, selling her stuff for this person. When I, which I believe once he gets out, it's not going to be reciprocated. I bet you a thousand is not. And that's really messed up and heartbreaking to see because us, as black women, we always be the ones that's getting hurt. I mean, everybody gets hurt, so I'm not even going to say it like that. I'll say it's just messed up how we see women get hurt by just a simple phone call or just being lonely, I guess. And by her being lonely and her brother just found out how vulnerable she can get, he used that to his advantage and he basically put her on somebody else that he can use, like, how they do in prison. Like, they pass girls around. Like, how Red said in his, uh, on the last, when he was doing his on Love at the Lockup, how they pass women around and say who they want to talk to and who they don't. That, she should know that. We ain't slow. Like, we, we watch the same show. I mean, really, do, are we watching the same show? Do people not get we TV? I mean, I understand we got to download these apps now and streaming apps. But, I mean, we seeing all this stuff on TikTok and Facebook and Instagram, YouTube. I mean, are we not seeing this? And are they not watching this stuff? Have they not watched Love during Lockup, Love at the Lockup, all these Lockup shows? And do they not see how sometimes how this stuff ends and how sometimes it might work out? But I'm just trying to figure out why are you doing all this and you know it's nothing because he still lies and you say oh i don't believe you but then again i do believe you you're in denial just let it go get you somebody that's free and that can do for you just like you do for him but i guess that's what you want i guess i don't know but yeah i'm done ranting tell me what y'all think drop some comments down below